I'm Sally Newell Cohen, Chief Operating Officer of Toastmasters International. I'll be sharing the story of Toastmasters Pathways learning experience with you. So in 2010, the Board of Directors developed a strategic plan spanning five years. And through a strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats analysis, it identified the specific actions necessary to improve the member experience and bolster Toastmasters' position in the industry. Now in the current program, there are two separate tracks, communication and leadership. The board evaluated these tracks and found that the leadership skills you experience in Toastmasters weren't necessarily taught through the leadership track. The projects did not necessarily build together in complexity, and there needed to be more clarity and unity between the two tracks because communication and leadership are so inextricably combined. Next, a board committee was formed with a focus on leadership. They looked at every role that a member could participate in in the organization, from the club officer to the district leader to the international officer level. And what they considered was what actions you needed to take to be successful in every role. And along with that, what skills, attributes, behaviors, and competencies are required to be successful. They then considered where these skills, attributes, behaviors, and competencies are actually learned. Was it in Toastmasters or through another experience? Now at the same time, World Headquarters staff were conducting research and they looked at achievement at the member level. And what they found is that less than 10% of all members had earned their CC. Less than 2% had earned their CL. And far fewer, less than 1% were earning any level of advanced achievement. Now these were critical steps in understanding the learning process as we realized that something was lacking and it was holding members back. Now the combination of the board's findings and the research that we conducted served as a gap analysis to better understand what was missing. At this point also, members were surveyed about what they really wanted to see in the education program because that member feedback was critical. The survey showed us that members wanted more flexibility in what they were learning. They wanted real world skills that they could translate into their own experience and the capability to complete their projects online. So with all of this newfound understanding, it was clear we had to do more and we had to take a deeper look and a deeper approach to building the new program.